Hi everyone, the third one in the controlled category is hmm, token passing. This is pretty interesting. What happens in token passing is that stations are arranged in a kind of logical ring. logical ring and when a so each will be having some predecessor and some successor so they are kind of in a logical ring so a special packet special packet called token is past it's like the game we play when we pass the pillow in a circle so it's the same case in this a special packet is token is passed among those in the ring so if a station wants to send the data what it does it it waits till it receives the token and then it sends the data and when it is done with the data sending then it releases the token to its successor So yeah this is the whole idea obviously token management is required like when token is lost or destroyed if a channel goes down if a, if a station goes down station fails and it can also assign priorities as it will be passed among those with highest priority first so we said that they are arranged in a kind of logical ring so what kind of rings are there so let's see logical rings The first one is a physical ring topology in say station A, B, C, D and they are just connected in a logical manner, in a circular manner A, B, C, D. So A gets a token, it sends it to B then after if B wants to send something then it send when it has the token but if it doesn't it passes or after sending it passes so yeah the token goes on circulating in this manner the second one is dual ring topology What happens in this one is there is one emergency ring also. Say this is A, B, C, D. So first as usual our in like this physical ring. And there is another in the opposite direction. So the, this is the primary ring and the second one is known as the secondary ring. It is used during emergencies. Emergency when the primary line goes 
down or fail somehow then after it is after the primary line is restored the secondary line again becomes idle The third one is bus ring topology. In this, they are connected by a single cable. Cable called bus. So the station. sends the data data then it puts the address of the next station in the token then releases it so so the address of the station which matches with that of token with token can only receive the token so say this is station One, two, three, four, and this is the single bus we are talking about, and it is connected with them. So it doesn't look like a ring, but as every say station knows its successor, and so it is kind of a logical ring again as it knows the successor. it puts that address in the token and then releases it in the bus then it goes and it is only received by the one having that address so it's kind of connected logically also as it is passed in an order so now the last one is the star ring topology so in this there is a hub that acts as a connector between station so what makes the ring is the wiring inside the wiring inside the hub say this is the hub this is station 1 this line for sending this for receiving same with 2 then 3 so it is pretty good as say if a station fails the hub can skip it and moves on to the next one till it, this one is restored so yeah the hub manages everything first is passes first is passes to station a the station a can send data to hub then hub will forward the data to the one it is meant for then it passes the token to 2 then to say 3 but say the station 3 is down so it can easily move on to station 4 in this kind of connection there is easy to add more number of stations as they are just to be connected with hub so yeah so it is easy to add and easy to remove in this topology so that's all in the 
controlled access methods okay so see you next time